How does a narcissist react when you go silent on them? Do they get impacted by your silence, or do they forget you completely? What happens? Let's find out in today's episode. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. In today's episode, we are going to talk about two ways a narcissist reacts when you go silent. If that sounds interesting and you're eager to learn more, please make sure to subscribe. Your subscription to the channel helps in spreading awareness about narcissistic abuse. Let's begin. The only thing I ask of you is not to skip this video anyway. If you are here consider yourself different from the majority. Consider yourself an exception. Now act like one and don't skip any part of the content. Number 1. They really panic and become anxious. Panic and become anxious. Why? Because narcissists do not like to get ignored. They need to know what you're thinking and feeling, and they need you to think about them constantly because that is what their existence is all about. That is how they think they matter. If you go blank emotionally and become silent physically, you become unpredictable, and unpredictability is their worst enemy, for they do not know what comes ahead. They have to be in control of the environment. And when you go silent, when you stop talking to them, when you give them zero supply, that makes them go crazy. They try to push you left, right, and center to get a reaction out of you. They may stalk you, call your friends, your family, hack your social media, hack your security cameras to check what you are up to. And what matters to them is if you have moved on with somebody or not. Why is that? Because if you have moved on with somebody, that means you have replaced them. And what does that mean? That means they were a failure, and they feel really insecure in not knowing that. What does that make them do? It makes them vengeful. It makes them punitive. Of course, they are that already, but it brings it to the surface, and they come back seeking revenge. When they come back, they don't make it seem like they want revenge. They make it seem like they want you back or that they have realized their mistakes and they want you to give them one more chance. Which if you end up giving, they end up torturing you the worst way possible. Silence is deafening to a narcissist because it triggers their worst fears. And what are their worst fears related to abandonment? They do not like to be abandoned. If you abandon a narcissist, they won't last for more than an hour. They are a parasite that needs to latch itself to a host, and you are the host in this case. When you give them silence, you take your power back. But context is very important. If you go silent in a context where you do not need to take a stand against them, or that you don't have to do anything with them, you are not dependent on them financially, you don't have children with them, and you don't have to see them on a daily basis, then your silence is your biggest move against them. And it's your silence that truly defeats a narcissist. However, if you are living with a narcissist, or you have to deal with them in one way or another on a daily, weekly, monthly, yearly basis, then your silence can be seen as a form of weakness. And we have to deal with them in a different way because silence is not going to be your superpower in that situation. Number 2. They take your silence as a sign of agreeableness. They take your silence as a sign of agreeableness and or weakness. What does that mean? That simply means when they keep bullying you, when they keep torturing you, when they keep water testing, just noticing what the temperature is and how deeply they can abuse you, they will say things directly, indirectly, they will do things. But initially, they will make small moves to see if you will retaliate or if you will take a stand for yourself, if you will establish any boundaries or not. If you do not, they shamelessly believe that you are okay with how they are treating you and that you are weak enough to not do anything about the situation. Which is why sometimes you have to become your own protector. You have to give them a real pushback and be very assertive, which does not mean you have to fight them because you can't wrestle with pigs, you can't justify yourself, you can't explain yourself, you can't argue, none of that. You have to be very direct and assertive and remind them of the consequences if they were to continue the same behavior. Or the truth, for example, in a co-parenting situation, if they keep bothering you left, right, and center and keep on working out your tolerance levels, 
then you have to make it very clear what is going to happen if they keep doing the same thing, which may be a penalty through the court system or change of something else. I know it's very difficult to navigate this area, but I'm just giving you an example here. You have to make it very clear to them that this is unacceptable and you won't tolerate that. Then if they keep repeating the same behavior, which is expected of them, you have to push the button, which simply means you have to make them face the consequences if it is possible. That is how they would know they can't mess with you anymore, that you won't take it anymore. What I'm saying is silence is not always the answer. It depends on the situation. You have to see where you are, what you're dealing with, and if silence, if your silence is giving them the power to continue abusing you, if that is the case, then you have to take a stand. Sometimes it only needs you to say what the truth is to completely stop the narcissist in their way of causing you trauma. The truth can be simply stated this way, I am done with you. There is nothing between you and me anymore. I do not want to be involved and I know you will respect that given you are a mature person. So it's more like making about their maturity, it's more like making it about how intelligent they are. And if they do not follow through, if they do not respect you, then they will prove themselves wrong. So essentially what you're doing here is you are making it seem like it's their idea and they have to follow through. But you have to be very cautious with this if you know saying that you are a mature person might get used against you in the court system then that is what you would not do. When you become silent towards a narcissist, they never take it well. But when they give you silence, that simply means they have discarded you. They have replaced you with somebody else, and they are now using a different woman, a different man as their source of supply. You have been deleted from their mind, you have been erased. They don't miss you, they're quite tunneled in their vision. What matters for them is what their eyes are on in that moment, like for a predator, the prey inside is the only thing that matters. Everything else is deleted, out of focus. It's quite yelled, that is the person you were dealing with. But if you have gone silent and you are curious to know if it is working on them, I can guarantee you it is, and it's bothering them deeply. And if there is, if you're not obligated to break the silence, keep it like this. If you are stuck in a situation where you cannot be silent all the time, well then I would say be silent most of the time, choose your battles, pick your battles, and only fight when it is necessary. Do not repeat yourself. Once you have said what needed to be said, then give them silence, more silence, more silence. And when you notice they're breaking a little bit, they're acting nicely, that is when you should give them supply. I call it drip, master co-parenting course, supply. I have talked about that in depth in my master co-parenting with a narcissist program, which I recently upgraded and launched. You can check that out by clicking the i button above or the link in the description of this episode as well. So those were the two ways a narcissist reacts to your silence. Let me know which one of these reactions have you personally experienced, drop your answers in the comments below. With that, let's bring this episode to an end. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will talk to you in the next one. Until then, as always, let the healing begin and continue.